I want to play um, a little bit of that video and ask you to comment on it. I just can't understand how a person could be left so long, and I want everyone to see what it's like. It's why I'm making this video. All the people who are supposed to be loving you and taking care of you are treating you like shit. Who are the people that won't take care of you? Are you talking about your family? Yeah, and I, obviously I want to be really clever because like, I love my family and I don't blame them. It's not easy for families of mentally ill people. We, we can be difficult. What happened was I had been writing to my family, begging letters, you know, and angry letters and raging. And I don't want to make out like I'm a victim here. I, I give it as good as I get. I, would, I, I was an ass to my family. I thought it would be better maybe my family might, if they saw how I'm feeling, they would relate to it. You don't even care. I hoped in my kidney stone madness that my family would see it and go, oh my God, we didn't realize it's that bad. We'll go get her. Do you Did know they I mean? watch? No. How do you know? They told, one of them told me, yeah. I, I, I rang one of the fathers of my children uh, who happened to be five miles away from me in New York at the time and, and had my 10 year old child and didn't bring him to see me. Are you mentally ill? I don't believe I am, no. Unless you say the complex post-traumatic stress disorder is a mental illness. I've had a psychiatrist, one psychiatrist <coughs> told me I'm the sanest person he's ever met, which of course everyone laughs at when I say that. Musicians are always a little on the edge. We're, we're, we're somewhere out there. Also, I'm a child abuse survivor, very severe child abuse survivor, so you know, I'm a little out there. I'm unusual, irregular, eccentric. What kicked all of this off really was that I had a hysterectomy, a radical hysterectomy in Ireland uh, two years ago, and I lost my mind after that. And that's, I think, what happened with my family. And we have to give my family credit. And, 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 you know, they're not here to speak for themselves. So I don't want to disrespect them. But the fact is, they didn't know who the hell I was. I was told to leave the hospital two days after the surgery with Tylenol and no hormone replacement and no guidance as to what might happen to me. I was flung into surgical menopause. So hormones were everywhere. I became very suicidal. I was a basket case. So yeah, I, I would say that after the hysterectomy, I was, I was mental. When we talked on the phone, you told me that you tried to kill yourself eight times. I know, I counted up the times in my life that I've in tried In one to. year. Why? Because they left me. They left me and they wouldn't let me see my child. His father, who never bothered with the child, snuck him into foster care behind my back while I was in the hospital trying to recover from being bonkers. And so off and he goes family, into foster my care. my family, they all left the child there for six months. Of course, I lost the plot, raging, angry, angry. And anger was part of the suicidal feeling and also was the grief and unfairness and I can't get hurt unless I'm dead in front of them, blah, 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 you know. But that's what it was really about. That's what made me lose my absolute mind was that they, they kept me from my most vulnerable child. Also, in some of my abuse as a child, my mother quite regularly was attempting to destroy my reproductive system. So the, the surgery was very triggering.